Okay, in this video, this is the uh, meat and potatoes of everything, usually. Decide which reaction is faster. Um, there are many factors that affect the rate, and let me take you through this slow, if I can, and very clear. So what we first want to do is identify if the reaction is SN1 or SN2, and then see what factors affect that, okay? So first off, we want to look at our alkyl halide. As I mentioned, if you have a primary alkyl halide, this mandates that the reaction occurs by SN2, okay? There's no wheel room there. Now, what you want to do is look at the uh, nucleophile, okay? If we are talking about an SN2 reaction, we know that uh, nucleophiles that have negative charge are more nucleophilic than neutral nucleophiles. So therefore, we would say that this first reaction is going to be a faster reaction. In F, we have a primary alkyl halide once again. Okay, And so we know that a primary alkyl halide proceeds by SN2. Okay, And here, I have two nucleophiles potentially uh, operating here. I have iodide and bromide. Okay, so to look at the nucleophilicity of the actual nucleophile, you want to look at the solvent, okay? In polar, sol uh, in protic solvents, okay, in protic solvents, we know that iodide is better than bromide, is better than chloride, is better than fluoride. And this is because uh, water will more strongly hydrogen bond and uh, solvate the smaller ions than the larger ones, okay? So this is going to be a uh, faster reaction. Now, I'm just going to put this down here. In aprotic solvents, okay, the uh, order is reversed, okay? It's the more basic nucleophile that's going to be um, a stronger nucleophile, okay? So uh, watch out for the solvent, okay? Water is protic, okay? Water is protic. In letter K here, we've got um, a primary alkyl halide and a methyl alkyl halide, okay? So we know both of these are SN2, and of course the nucleophile is cyanide, which is a negatively charged, uh, you know, nucleophile. So uh, it's going to be a great reaction, but you want to look at sterics, okay? Remember that for the SN2 reaction, Okay, I'm going to summarize that here. Methyl is faster, um, maybe I should say methyl halide is faster than primary alkyl halide, which is faster than secondary alkyl halide. And of course, tertiary alkyl halides don't react, so it's much, much faster than that. In part B, we want to look at the structure of the uh, alkyl halide to decide what's happening. Okay. This guy down here is secondary, and this guy up here is vinyl, okay? I like to teach my students no SN2 on sp2. What does that mean? It means that this carbon right here is sp2 hybridized. And therefore, in my class, in your organic chemistry uh, class that you're taking as an undergraduate, there is no reaction, okay? No reaction. Uh, but secondary alkyl halides, that's fine. They can react. So this guy here, of course, is going to be faster. In letter G, we have a difference of a leaving group. Now remember, for your leaving groups, you're going to have iodide, you know, tosylate, which are about the same maybe, better than bromide, better than chloride, which is about as good as a neutral water molecule leaving, okay? So the better leaving group is going to leave better, faster, and that top reaction is going to be faster, okay? In letter L, we've got a um, couple of reactions, okay? We have a tertiary alkyl halide. So remember, automatically, we can say that's going to be SN1, okay? 
So what solvents favor F S N one? That's going to be uh, polar protic solvents. Polar polar uh, protic is going to be better than polar a protic in an S N one reaction. What are the polar protic solvents? Things like water. Um, Alcohols, okay, methanol, ethanol, you know, stuff like that, okay, our typical protic solvents. Uh, so this is an alcohol down below, so that's going to allow this SN1 reaction to proceed fastest, okay. Once again, you're always looking to see the structure of the alkyl halide. That's primary. This is secondary. Everything else is the same. And remember, for SN2, primary alkyl halides react faster, faster than secondary alkyl halides. Okay? That's the primary thing. The nucleophile and the solvent have subtle influences on that. But primary and secondary is a very big dramatic uh, difference here in the rates. Here, in letter H, what am I noticing when I'm looking at this little carbon here? I can see that it's sp2 hybridized. Okay, so there's never substitution on an sp2 hybridized carbon atom. So that guy there is going to be no reaction. So this one's going to be faster. Okay. What do I have over here? In letter M, I have a primary alkyl chloride. A primary alkyl chloride. The leaving group is the same. Uh, the solvent is a polar A protic solvent. Okay. And what did we say about the ordering? Okay, let's switch back to a previous page here. And I'll highlight this in green. For a polar A protic solvent, okay. We uh, learned that this is the order of, uh, of nucleophilicity, right? Fluoride is better than chloride, bromide, iodide. Okay? But you can see how we have differences here. Okay? So again, fluoride is better than bromide, better than chloride. I'm sorry. <laughs> I uh, messed that up. For a polar A protic solvent, we've got... Um, Fluoride is better than chloride, better than bromide, better than iodide. Okay, so here, better is this way. All right, so bromide is going to be the uh, better nucleophile and make this reaction faster. And that's for polar A protic solvents only. Okay? For letter D, once again, we're analyzing these guys here. They're both tertiary alkyl halides. Okay. So that mandates that the reaction is SN1. And remember that SN1 is favored. Well, I'll just write the trends, right? We've talked about this in a previous problem. But it's going to be best for polar parodic solvents. Protic solvents like water, ethanol, methanol, right? So water is going to be the best and therefore fastest. In letter I, we have primary, primary, okay? And a primary alkyl halide has to proceed by SN2, okay? And here we have a couple of differences. So what's the difference between water and OH minus? It's the nucleophile, right? So remember that hydroxide is going to be more nucleophilic than water, right? You want a negatively charged nucleophile. That's going to be faster reacting than a neutral react, uh, nucleophile. So the best reaction here is going to be this bottom one because the nucleophile is stronger. Okay? Down here, we have a primary and a primary. We have the same nucleophile. The solvent's not indicated. So we have an alkyl iodide versus alkyl chloride, 
okay? And I've mentioned this before about the leaving group, okay? Um, iodide or tosylates are better leaving groups than bromide, which is better than um, chloride, okay? So this top reaction is going to be faster reacting because the leaving group is better. In part E, we've got um, a primary alkyl halide and a methyl alkyl halide. Okay, same nucleophile here. So remember that these are going to proceed by SN2 because they're primary and uh, methyl alkyl halides. And remember, due to sterics, methyl halides react faster than primary alkyl halides. So this bottom reaction is going to be faster. In this next letter, uh, which is J, we have a tertiary alkyl halide. That means it's SN1. And remember, SN1 is going to be favored by uh, weak nucleophiles. Okay. Uh, in general, the nucleophile doesn't matter. Okay, so I, I should mention that. Nucleophile doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter if the nucleophile is negative or neutral, but we kind of want to just look at the solvent. Uh, water is a polar protic solvent, so it's going to make this reaction faster. Don't know what the solvent is up here. Maybe it's DMSO or something else, okay? So this problem is kind of uh, poorly worded, but um, I would say the bottom reaction is going to be faster. In part P, we have a primary alkyl halide. Okay, that's the alpha carbon. It's connected to one other carbon. That means it must be SN2, and that's going to be favored. Well, the nucleophile is the same, so it's going to be favored by polar A protic solvents. Your polar A protic solvents are going to be your acetonitrile acetone, DMF, DMSO, HMPA, basically alphabet soup. The polar protic solvents, which you want to think about, are just water and alcohol, so those are easy to identify. Now remember that polar A protic solvents are best for SN2. Okay, so that's going to be this bottom reaction. Acetone would make this reaction proceed faster. Okay, so that in a nutshell is this problem. You've got the substrate, you've got the nucleophile, you've got the solvent, you've got the leaving group, all to balance and consider when you're comparing two different reactions. Thanks for watching, and please do consider subscribing.